Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be looking into another tracing but this time the difference is that we will also have to deal with uh, inherited classes. Last time we just had simple program where we had methods, variables, static variables and non-static variables and just constructors. But this time we also have to deal with how the how Java program works when we have inherited classes. So here we, as you can see class A and class B are two classes but class B is the child of class A which means that class B will have access to all of its all of class A's methods, variables, construct uh, methods and variables, but uh, child A won't have access to uh, the variables of and methods uh, of class B. So it's like a one-way communication. B will have access to A, but A won't have access to B, even though A is uh, B is inherited from A. Right. So uh, let's look at the code sequence. These are the uh, instances created and the methods created. Let's get on with the tutorial first. So first the table will look somewhat like this, which is similar to the previous table we had. There are three instances, A1, B1, and B2. And the X, sum and Y are non-static variables. And static variable is temp and static variable is X. But X is only in case of B1 and B2 because it's only uh, created during in, in class B and not in class A and class and, and temp is created in class A which means that B will also have access to temp and A will also have access to temp right so the first part of the program is so uh, let's just minimize this right so at the in the first step what we do is we have the static variable temp uh, sum and y so 2 2 2 so we just have to write down 2 2 and 2 so y is 2 sum is 2 and temp is 2 next uh, this constructor is educated because the first instance that's created is calling the default constructor of class a so y equals tem minus 2 so y equals 2 minus 2 is 0 and sum equals 10 plus 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and 10 equals 10 minus 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 right and so that's done now we are moving on to creating the instance b1 now the, there's a difference this time is that when we're creating the instance of b1 yes we will be calling the default constructor of b uh, class b which is this but before executing this part we we have to first see that like the variables that are used here are like x is x is here new here this time but y and x are not instantiated in b which means that we have to access the values of these variables from class a so we have to first initialize in the in the respective columns we have to first initialize these values but also we have to uh, uh, execute the constructor as well because these variables change as soon as the constructor is called whenever this class a is called of course the constructor uh, is also called as well uh, so sum is 2 y is 2 we know that so sum is 2 y is 2 and um, temp was temp is static so we'll be using the static variable from here so the const in the constructor next step is y equals temp minus 2 so y equals 2 minus uh, so it's 0 minus 2 so it's minus 2 right it's minus 2 and um, sum equals 10 plus 2 so 0 plus 2 sum equals 2 and and 10 equals 10 minus so 0 minus 2 is minus minus 2 right now we will be, uh, will be executing this constructor the default constructor of b y equals 10 plus 200 so y equals temp is minus 2 minus 2 plus 200 is where is y yeah here so it's 198 198 and um, x equals 2 plus temp plus x x equals 2 plus temp is minus 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 and x is x is the static variable so here the static variable was 2 so the value we get where, 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 yeah so we were looking for um, x right so x equals 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 2 
and uh, this and then the last part is temp equals temp minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 and my minus minus 1 uh, I mean minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 right now uh, so this part is done b1 instance is done now b2 in b2 we are passing on the values of b1 um, so b2 will have access to the values of b1 in the b1 table so sum equals b dot sum plus sum which means b dot sum is this sum and sum uh, before again even while executing this we have to first execute this constructor again for uh, like the default constructor of the pan class again so we get so we get uh, what was the line yeah so two two we get two here two here and then so two here two here then we execute y equals temp minus two temp is minus three so minus three minus two is minus five then then sum equals temp plus two so minus three plus two is minus one and temp equals temp minus two so minus three minus two is minus five then we're going to be uh, executing the main constructor which is this one so sum equals b dot sum b dot sum is from uh, what you call yeah so b dot sum is basically b1's we're passing in b1 object so b1's sum plus the sum that's here so b1's sum was 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 and next up we call the method a and we pass in sum and 200 pass it, uh, so sum is 1 and uh, m is 1 and n is 200 now since we are passing in since it's called b dot method a we won't be executing we won't be uh, updating the values over the method a in this in b in b2 we, instead we're going to, going to be doing this in b1 because b dot method a is not b2 dot method a b dot method a is actually b1 dot method a because b this b that's passed here is actually this b1 see as you can see b1 object is passed so we're going to be doing making all the changes in this area so m is uh, 1 and n is 200 and uh, so let's move on to method a method a we have m n and x x is 122 122 then y equals y plus m plus 10 plus 1 so y equals y over here y equals 198 plus 1 plus temp is minus 5 so we get one uh, we get 194 do the calculation so we get 194 then excuse my bad hand right so then uh, so y equals y plus which is 198 plus 1 uh, and plus minus 5 so we get 194 now we have to increment minus 5 so minus 5 plus 1 becomes minus 4 right now uh, x equals x plus 22 plus n x is 122 and 22 and n n is 200 so 122 plus 22 plus 200 so we get 344 44 and then uh, we have sum equals sum plus x plus y so sum is here so 2 plus 194 plus 344 so the sum is 540 now next up the next step is so we're done we called this method from here so this is done now we're gonna we're going to call the actual methods a1 dot method a and a1 dot method a is the variables passed is one and one so here we're going to be executing here and we'll make the changes over here so a1 dot method a is this one so m uh, m is one m is one n is one x is 122 and y equals y plus m plus 10 plus plus so y equals 0 plus 1 plus minus 4 so 0 plus 1 minus 4 so we get <clears throat> we get y equals minus 3 0 plus 1 minus 4 so this will also be incremented again so we so this becomes minus 3 and 
now x x equals x plus 22 plus n x is 122 plus 22 plus 1 so this becomes 145 right now um a sum equals sum plus x plus y the usual so 4 minus 3 plus 145 so we get 146 right so this part is done now we call a2 dot method b1 dot method a so b1 dot method a is 1 and 2 m is 1 and n is 2 so here method a again so m is 1 n is 2 and this is 122 method a is i'm getting really used to the values that's why i kind of remember everything so y equals y plus m plus 10 plus plus so y equals this y equals 194 uh, 194 plus 1 plus temp and the temp value right now is minus 3 so we get 192 and um, x equals 122 plus 22 plus n over here is 2 so 146 next up uh, sum equals x sum plus x plus y so sum is 540 192 and 146 the sum of 146 192 and 540 will give you 878 878 right now um, so this is done so oh so I haven't been printing X and Y and sum so X was I'm sorry about that so X uh, in the beginning was uh, sorry it was 344 194 and 540 this was the first one the second one was 145 um, minus 3 146 right and the third one was third one is um, some uh, x, x y and some so 146 146 192 878 let me just check this 878 right okay that was basically just running the program in java so you could understand so you can get so you can check your answers if they're correct or not or if they're correct or not right so the next step is so this was this is done now we're left with the last method calling which is method b right this method b now we're going to be calling that so method b three uh, m and n's value is three and two so m and n equals okay so which object was it b2 so we're going to be making the changes here so 3 2 sorry 3 2 m and n is 3 and 2 and y equals 2 and temp equals 2 y equals 2 and temp equals 2 then y equals y plus this dot y plus m y where is the y here here y equals y y is 2 2 plus this dot y this dot y will be accessed from b2's y so here this one so minus 5 is the this dot y here so 2 minus 5 plus 3 so we get we get y equals 0 2 minus 5 plus 3 is 0 and x equals y plus 2 plus 10 minus n so x equals where is x so x is a static variable here so x equals x equals we get um, y plus 2 y we got y as 0 so 0 plus 2 2 plus temp is minus 3 so 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and minus and minus 1 and minus 2 so we get minus so we get minus sorry the temp that we're going to be using is not the static temp is this temp because we have because this method has a temp of its own so 0 plus 2 plus 2 so we get 4 4 minus 2 is 2 so Two again so this remains two then um, then we uh, then we move on to calling method a now this method is well, this method is called from this method B which is which is the op, which is the instance that's called through uh, through B2 uh, th through the object B2 so we're going to be making the changes of method a on object B2 
right because if this was something like b1 dot method a of course we'll be making the changes here but since it's b2 dot method a uh, so we're going to be making the changes over here so x and y we passed as m and n x's value is 2 so it's uh, yeah it's 2 and y's value is 0 and again this was 122 and um, y equals y plus m plus 10 plus plus so y equals where is y why is this so 0 um, no sorry y won't have access to this because this is the method b is y we'll be accessing this y so minus 5 plus 2 plus temp temp this time is this so minus 5 plus 2 minus 3 so the value of uh, the value of y is minus 5 again again what do we, what do we do we just subtract it we just did uh, minus uh, sorry y equals y equals I'm just kind of losing track here minus 5 this was minus 5 here minus 5 plus m m is 2 so minus 3 minus 3 and temp is minus 3 so minus 5 right so I have forgotten to uh, increment minus 3 previously when we were calling this method over here b1 dot method a 1 2 that time what we had was 1 2 22 so this kind of mistakes are kind of um, really common because these tracings are pretty big so when we were calling 1 2 and 22 that time y equals y plus y was this 194 194 plus m was 1 so 195 195 plus temp was minus 4 so we had that's why we had 192 so sorry it was temp was minus 3 so that's why we had 192 but I didn't forgot to increment minus 3 back then so it was it becomes minus 2 so getting back to this part over here when we are called when we are adding y plus m plus 10 plus plus so y equals minus 5 plus m is m is 2 so minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3 minus 3 plus mi minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 so this this gets incremented and now here again we're going to increment it to minus 1 because minus 2 was used up so then this part is done I hope this is I hope this is clear because I've, I made a mistake here and I forgot to increment temp before while doing while doing while doing this operation back in b1 dot back when we were calling b1 dot method a so uh, that's why i forgot to increment it again really really sorry about that so yeah so after that um y is done now x equals 122 plus 22 plus n is 0 so we get 144 then sum equals sum plus x plus y sum is 1 minus 5 and 144 so 144 minus 5 is 139 139 plus 1 is 140 so we get 140 and we print 144 44 minus 5 140 let's just check it yeah and but then after we're not done yet so this so we get back to this part here so sum equals sum plus x plus y this was b2 dot method b so here so sum equals 144 plus x is here x is uh, the static x so 140 plus 2 plus 0 so 142 so this becomes 142 and now we print it again so x is 2 2 y is 0 and sum is 142 so the program looks like this uh, the answer is over here and it matches and yeah so the tracing is done I hope you understood from this tutorial about how to trace objects I how to trace programs where there are uh, inheritance where there's inheritance, like when a method, when a class extends from another class, well, how does Java execute it? So um, please subscribe if you like this tutorial and if you want more CS-based tutorials and good luck.